been wanting to speak about this for a while. The covert war against His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, and the plot to take the Ark of the Covenant from Ethiopia. And this is based on selected essays and investigations into the over 40 year conspiracy by I, His Highness Ras Yadinos Teferi, the Order of His Imperial Majesty. And that's a brotherhood right there of His Imperial Majesty. There is a real, well, there's different levels of the brotherhood that still exist in the world. I mean, it's a real thing when we call ourselves Ras Teferi, although many have not understood that and many probably would not receive or accept the truth of that however it's based on the second mystery the second mystery of Christos which was explained in St. Matthew the Mateus Wengel Miraf Ashra Shos chapter 13 verse 36 where it says then Yesu sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples, Talmudin, the students of the Deccan Zamorit, they came to him saying, Declare to us the parable, the Misale, or in Hebrew, the Mishle, the parable of the proverbs, or the likeness, or similitude, or example of the tears of the field. The tears. Now, many of us may not know about farming and, and um, agriculture. But the tears are the, the you can say, the grain, it's not grain really, but it looks just like wheat, in other words. But it's almost like weeds in a sense. You know, basically it's like weeds. It's not really the good wheat, you know what I mean? But it looks like it, all right? Verse 37 says, He answered and said to them, He that soweth the good seed, is the son of man now the good seed you can recognize that in this particular chapter as well as in the bible there are certain things that are literal or certain things that have a literal level and there are certain things that have a allegorical level or a metaphysical level you understand or a parabolic or parabolological you understand level parabiological should i say level you understand um Verse 38 says, the field is the world. So the field is the is the inhabited, so-called civilized world that's a part of this world system. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. The good seed, you understand, are the children of the kingdom. Now the good seed also, as we go through the parables, we'll find the good seed can also manifest it as, as the word. You understand? And that word now become flesh in the children who partake once again in that relationship with the father, with the Abba. So they become the sons and the daughters of Elohim or the sons and daughters of God. You understand? So to the men and people, they are like gods. You understand? But before them, there is no other God but the Ahadu. You understand? Or the Ahaduhu. You understand? Now it goes on to say that the good seed are the children of the men gish or the or the government, the Malkut, but the tears, which are like the weeds, the Inkardat, are the children of the wicked one or the evil one. The enemy that sow with them is Diablos. The enemy that has sowed them is the devil, is the slanderer. Now the harvest is the end of the world or what some say the end of the age more correctly is talking about the end of this gentile world system or you could say white domination uh politics theology white supremacy others will call it see a lot of white people don't want to really admit that but many white people are beginning to recognize in the truth of the scriptures and the word and this time that we're living in that's exactly what it's talking about and even they're talking out and speaking out against the so-called other white people in their white system because they recognize that it's a counterfeit, it's a fraud, right? The reapers, now, and the reapers are the angels. Now, the reapers are the angels. 
Now, the angels are the messengers. So angels, when it says angels, angels can be used to refer to spiritual beings or it can also refer to human beings. But the thing that we must remember and recognize is that we are spiritual beings at our core. And that's what Jesus Christos, that's what the Christ of his imperial majesty, Yehoshua HaMoshiach, that's what we receive him. You understand? And we partake of him. And we become one in and through him so that the Father and the Son abide in and through us. And we're connected now to that matrix, to that world, not to this world, but to his world. Not to the world that's perishing, you understand? But to the world that's incoming. Verse 40 says, As therefore the tears are gathered and burnt in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. Now, as the tears, as in farming culture, you understand, in agriculture, you gather everything out of the field and then you separate the wheat from the tears because a lot of times it grows together. You understand, it grows together and you can't pull up one before the harvest because then you might ruin the good one. You understand? So, this is a parabolic logic here and you have to understand this and then you understand how it connects with this covert war against H.I.M. Haile Selassie I. That in the scriptures in Matthew 13, remember that number 13, people speak about his imperial majesty being a Freemason, but they they only understand half the story. They don't understand the fullness of it. You understand his majesty is the builder. He is, he, he is the grand architect, the true grand architect. You understand that sits in the east, but you have to remember that not according to the so-called Freemasonic so-called order, because the order that his imperial majesty is of is a much more ancient and a higher order because it connects to the people of the book, the Bible. Are you not like the, Ethi the children of Ethiopians unto me, O Bane Israel? Are not the Bane Kushim like unto the Bane Israel? Yovas? Now, so when it says at the end of this age, the end of this world system, people say whether it's the 9 11, whether that end time is the Ethiopian New Year, you have to remember, just like Jacob and Esau, just like when Esau was born, you understand? And when Jacob held on to his heels, the same thing is going to happen. So it's not, the kingdom doesn't come by observation, by, by looking. People say, I don't seem like, I, I don't see it, I got to see it. You understand? Those are the blind. You understand? Because we walk by the Amen, by the true faith and not by sight, not by our physical earthly sight do we walk spiritually in the way of the true Christ which is the way of his imperial majesty now verse 41 says the son of man shall send forth his angels it didn't say the son of God but it says the son of man as Lij Teferi is the son of Ras Mekonim and they shall gather out of his kingdom of his kingdom of his men gisht all things that offend and them which do iniquity now this brings us right to the covert war you understand those that do iniquity if you were to study this word whether you study it in the in the hebrew the aramaic or you study it in the koine greek or you study it in the ethiopic or you study it in the royal amarinya one thing you will recognize that the word iniquity deals with rebellion so when you look at what happened in Ethiopia, and when you know the true story of the warfare that happened in heaven, or some say that was prophesied in heaven, when when Iblis and, and Satan, known formerly as Lucifer, when he rebelled and fought, you understand, against the Almighty by fighting the Almighty's command to bow to Adam, you understand, to bow to that Son of God which becometh the son of man because when we say son of man we're saying actually in hebrew son of adam you understand son of ha adam yovas so that son of man that's who iblis or lucifer did not want to bow to and that's who the so-called freemasons because the freemasons you have to recognize that 1776 and even a little prior before that 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 that's the european the york right and the scottish right his imperial majesty is not of the York right. His imperial majesty is not of the so-called Scottish right. Yes, they gave him props and accolades, of course, because they were caught. You understand, the imperial majesty had caught them by surprise and caught them suddenly. 
and manifested on them. That's what you see in the pictures. All of them, these big high leaders bowing to this five foot four inch tall man from Ethiopia who happens to be the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, the elect of God upon the throne of David, and all of them are bowing. But now black peoples, many of them were blinded. They didn't see this. They didn't recognize this. They turned their backs to the so-called civil rights and the Negro Uncle Tom leaders. They turned their backs to so that's one level of the covert warfare against the Beta Israel, against the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's one level of it. Now we have a next level that went on in Ethiopia. If you remember this, it's like the Kennedy assassination. They shot Kennedy from three separate vantage points. It was known.